for me, I was, you know, the B, C student. I never, I was average at everything. And I was never really particularly great at anything except playing games and, and maybe, maybe doing anything that I wanted. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember just crying this one night in like my bedroom. And, and I don't know, I just, I was just crying. And, and he asked me what was wrong. And I was like, you know, like I'm not meant for anything. And, you know, mom and dad believe, believes that, you know, I'm not, I'm not that good, you know, and stuff like that. I can't get straight days like you. And my brother told me, it's like, um, you're not actually dumb. Like you're, you're meant to be more than just average. And, and he's like, yeah, mom and dad are just saying that because of grades, but don't worry. Like you, like he basically told me that you have a potential and that I believe in you. And for the first time I actually had someone that affirmed me on the potential that, that I had and that it wasn't all about grades. And just from there, then on, I, I started to realize my potential. Raymond Tran is an active entrepreneur. He runs Media Zen Digital, a marketing startup servicing small businesses, personalities, and mid sized corporations with social media management, content creation, and website design. Now, here's your host for the Entrepreneurial Vibration Show, Sandy V. Terry. Like, I, I like to talk a lot. <laughs> and that was something that they made fun of me for. But over time, it became my asset. Like, I became really great at communicating with other people and, and being able to public speak. And um, then I became a good negotiator and salesman. And all those things, just one talent and my family really helped me a lot. So that is pretty awesome. I absolutely love that story. And, you know, that says a lot about the power of the influence of people in your life. You know, mm-hmm. whether it's a family member or a friend, um, it's just the people that go through your life, whether they come for a second and touch you and or there are people that stay in your life for a long time. And also actually the message that we can relate to all the people that are going to be watching this is the power that we have in other people, right? In, in taking that into consideration with our jobs. So obviously you got to the point where you open your own company and you actually dedicate to digital marketing, social media, content creation, website creation. So why don't you tell us about everything that you guys do? What do you do for your clients? How do you help them to um, go to market and, and everything that you create for them? Yeah, so Media Zen Digital was was started from, you know, my roommate and I in our dorm. And um, it was just really experiencing things in life and and seeing what problems other people had. And one big problem was that we were at uh, a a business connection in mine's place and he was a photographer. And he said, like, hey, like I had a big sign outside that says photography services available or selling photography services. And, you know, no one came to my doorstep why is that? I'm like, have you heard of social media? And he's like, what is that? And he, he had no idea what <laughs> social media was. He didn't know what it was. He was an old fella, fella and um, he didn't really know what it was. So I'm like, hey, like, like this could be a big idea. Like there are a lot of people who are um, a lot older that actually don't get this. And it, it may be funny, but it's a real demand and a real need. So like, hey, let's start this business where we provide the things that these people need. Like we understand social media, we know how to create a website and stuff like that. So that's how Media and Digital started. We're planning to do a shift, whether we might do, you know, paid ads or we might do just like, like video content and stuff. But overall, this, this journey that I had with Media and Digital is just about um, servicing a need and helping other people that, that don't understand digital marketing that much and mm-hmm. telling them like, hey, you don't get this, but it's okay, we do. And um, we're going to help them catch up to, you know, 2019. (laughs) (laughs) And they don't have to understand it because you do, you know, you understand it for them and you're giving them the service, which is the beautiful thing about it, right? Yeah. That's pretty good. Excellent. So I always end my shows with this. And if you had a room full of entrepreneurs and you could give them advice, what would be the advice that you would give to them? Um, if I was in a room full of entrepreneurs, I would say for this year, I would say you're younger than you think (laughs) you're younger than you think. Um, I'm in San Francisco and I was working at a startup 
And I was telling, and I was asking my my CEO who sold his last company for for millions of dollars. And I was asking him like, hey, like, I need to be successful. What did I do? I need to be more successful. What should I be doing? And he, he just sat down. And he's like, come over here. And he just like sat me down for a quick like pep talk. The fact that my son is only a few years younger than you is driving me insane. <laughs> so it's telling me that like you need to take your time and you need to understand that right now is not about becoming successful. It's about doing what you're passionate about and then worrying about becoming successful later. It's like you're literally 20 darn years old. Like you don't need to be <laughs> worrying about being like a founder and CEO or a successful one or something like that. And um, that's what I would say. That's what I learned. And that's what I took away. And I would like to offer that to this room full of entrepreneurs that you're really younger than you think. And you have so many years to, to have your mistakes and have new trials and, and to really A, B test new ideas and to find what you really want to do. There's a lot of time uh, for that. And I know for a lot of ambitious people uh, like myself, we really put a lot of pressure on ourselves to, to achieve, to really want to, to do new things when um, we really have a lot of time to do things like go out, go and relax, go play some games, understand what you really like to do. And from there, try a new idea. And who knows, maybe you'll be successful, maybe you won't, but it's all about the process and it's all about the journey. And uh, over this year, this new year, I hope to achieve just that, just to try, <laughs> try new things and be passionate about other stuff. I love it. I absolutely love it. Thank you so very much for your time. You are amazing. I love your energy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So where can people find you? Can you share your Instagram, your website, your everything? So people over here, over there, everywhere can find you. Yeah. So um, the main place to connect with me is Instagram. That's um, at Ray Tran. So R-A-Y-T-R-A-N-N. -N, Ray Tran for Instagram. And then you can search me on Raymond Tran on LinkedIn. And then you can include media and digital with that um, to find me on LinkedIn. But those are my two main platforms. And if you guys have any questions about me or, or what I say on this podcast, you can definitely always send me a DM on either one of those platforms. Thank you, Ray. We'll stay in touch. And yeah, have a awesome. wonderful evening. <laughs> All right. Andy, thank you so much for having me on this podcast. We really appreciate it. And I'll be looking forward to the episode. Yes. All right. Awesome. Take care. Now, we would love to hear from you. Tell us on the comments below. Was this advice helpful to you today? And how can you put some of what you learn into practice right away to start to see a difference in your entrepreneurial journey? Also, don't forget, if you found this podcast helpful, make sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so we know to make more podcasts like this one.